We will lead not merely by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. Don't tell me what you value, show me your budget, and I'll tell you what you value. Our best days still lie ahead. We can do big things. We're going to invest in jobs and infrastructure like we've never done since World War II. This is the United States of America. There's nothing beyond our capacity when we act together. Folks, I have a simple philosophy. The government should work for the people, not the other way around. We choose hope over fear, unity over division, science over fiction, and truth over lies. Our best days still lie ahead of us, but it's going to take every American to make it a reality. Let's begin to listen to one another again, hear one another, see one another, show respect to one another. We will be judged by how we resolve these cascading crises of our era. We're a nation that believes in possibilities. We're a nation that's always looking ahead. I promise you we will get through this together and we will build back better. It's time for us to lift our heads up, look forward and start to dream again. We need to restore the soul of America and that starts with honesty, decency and treating everyone with dignity and respect. We're going to build an economy that rewards work, not just wealth. We're going to tackle the climate crisis and create millions of good-paying union jobs in the process. We must remember the purpose of our politics isn't total, unrelenting warfare, no, it's to solve problems. The fact is that the only thing that's going to ensure success in the 21st century is if we have the most agile, best educated workforce in the world, we will never again be afraid to lead, to try to resolve world conflicts, to speak out for human rights and to defend democratic values. Our administration is going to be the most diverse in history. We can make America, once again, the leading force for good in the world. I believe democracy thrives when the infrastructure of democracy is strong. America is back, diplomacy is back, and we're ready to lead the world.